what's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video um, just another quick one tonight we are trying our hand still in the um, Yule Festival and this time we're trying the mining site which are um, in high sec known as the fading volatile ice fields um, if you're coming across this video and the event for the first time um, just worth mentioning that it's in the agency um, if I go home you've got winter nexus in here and you can just work your way through these um, missions in here to try and earn some points to get skins and things and you can get good drops uh, last night I released a video on the combat site in high sec which I will link here in the top um, but now looking at the ice uh, and basically um, I've just entered a failing volatile ice site um, you need you need um, ice harvesting equipment so I've got ice harvester 2's on my procurer and I'm um, just mining away at the ice that's here uh, there's some rats have just spawned so I'll just go and kill those they're just frigates so they shouldn't be too much of a problem not a problem at all that one's coming in now um, Right, and I'll just quickly I'll just point out um, because I, I think this is really useful information. If you're looking for these sites in high sec or in anywhere, um, if you go on the map and you go to color by on the settings here, scroll to the bottom of this thing uh, for geography and statistics, and you've got the option uh, metaliminal storms. Turn that on because that's what these winter storms are and then all of these locations with red and yellow circles are where um, where you can find the sites so you then just fly to these the red are the centers of the metaliminal storms where there's loads of sites orange there's quite a lot of sites and yellow you know there's just some that spawn um, so that's that's how you find them so you're not just jumping around high sec um, so in the high site I entered you'll see there's a um, there's just a bunch of faded volatile ice just mine it like normal ice but there's also at the center there's an ore faded volatile ice processor um, I'll start flying to that in a second because um, that's where you then drop off the ice and process it for the reward this will be the first time I'm doing this so um, I'll just let these cycle and then we'll start uh, slow boating our way there um, also you can complete the challenges so I just completed uh, mine uh, harvest 7 ice so I'll complete that get some points and it should come up with the or awarding those ok there we are depleted the that is depleted. Um, visit the ice processor and accept the correct form of volatile ice to exchange the ice you have mined for rewards so it looks like that rock contained 10 ice. I don't have a scanner, so I can't confirm that, but it looks like it got, had 10. Um, and we're just heading over to the back to the orca, which is what this is. An orca. That's nice. Is that a... Are they called... Are they a bar guest? I think so. Some cool stuff in these sites. I like the snow as well. Obviously, it's space. There shouldn't be snow floating around, but I like it anyway. Um, look at my ship. Uh, those rats are incredibly easy, um, so it might be worth chucking a prop mod on your on your barge if you're going to do this, or coming in an endurance or something, so you can fly back nice and quickly. Because I think this is the major time-consuming thing. This is taking a while. Um, but it's it's pretty simple as I say though those rats there were nothing there there's no one else in the system um, there have been a couple of people in the system because there's um, a couple of old wrecks but there's still plenty of ice so there's not much competition for it um, at the moment as you see there's only four people in local here nearly there and we'll see what sort of reward we get for doing this um, this isn't any special fit, by the way, it's just a fairly standard ice mining fit. We're actually, at the moment, I've got a bit of a hybrid between Tech 1 and Tech 2. 
um, just because of what I had available at the time. So, you know, standard rigs, Ice Harvester 2s, st standard multi spectrum shielding with a couple of extenders, and Ice Harvest bonuses. That's all. Right, almost there now. What are we going to get? So, here I can accept the faded volatile ice contract. You have to turn in seven. And I got an all green salvage package. So I did. Um, Alright, so while we're doing this, I'm going to head back to the ice. I don't have ice mining drones. Can I open this here? Yes, I can. What have we got? How worth it is this? Oh, there's a few items, that's nice. Eighth tier, okay. Some salvage, some more salvage, and seventh tier. So, 1.8 million for a fair bit of work, just there. Um, Obviously it's worth doing just to complete these rewards, because now I just got the basic brain free cerebral accelerator, which is in my redeemable window. Um, and you know, that's the standard amount of time of plus four to everything, so you know, they're worth earning. And as you work your way up, they get better. Potent is plus eight, and extended is plus eight for, or plus six, sorry, but four three times the time so they're worth they're worth getting and the, obviously the skins get quite good as well saber claw raptor so yeah they're worth <coughs> worth worth just finishing these anyway um what's the next mining challenge find uh bring a nice harvest and be ready to harvest so that should just complete in a second i think Yeah. Cool. Um, so basically, that's it. I'm gonna run a couple, of, run this a couple of times just to see what sort of loot I get. Um, I'll, I'll let you know if this is representative or not. Um, maybe at the end of the video, I'll just tack a little bit on just to see what we get out of the next couple of boxes. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've just got my third batch of seven, obviously eight in this case because we've got two miners, but um, third batch of seven, just going to go and hand it in now. Um, just as we're flying towards the ship, um, it's probably worth mentioning that this is uh, in a dead space pocket, so you have to go through a warp gate to get here. And I don't know for sure, um, so don't quote me on this, but I'm, I think I've heard that you can't bring an orca in. But you can bring a porpoise in, uh, so you can't just sit here with an orca and pull in the whole belt and then you're going to trade it in in one go. The asteroid um, is depleted. Um, so just worth bearing that in mind, um, at least. But again, don't quote me on that. I don't know it for sure. Um, in the second lot, basically, it was the same loot, a little bit more salvage, and one of each of the seventh and eighth tiers over his effects. So a bit disappointing. So let's just see how this third one goes. Um, and if it's the same, then for me, it's not really worth doing these sites. The forward bases, the combat sites are much more lucrative. Um, but we'll see, because I'm, I'm fairly certain you're supposed to be able to get skins and similar loot in these sites, because I think they're trying to make it accessible for miners and people that don't necessarily PvE and things that can still take part in the event. So let's see. Got the all green salvage again. What have we got? Seventh, sixth, it's worse. Uh, so this box is even worse. Um, okay, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's still worth doing, um, especially if you're a new bro or someone who just likes to mine. Um, but basically, 4.7, 4.8 million. I've been here for just over half an hour in this site. So um, there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, that's the Icefield site, um, maybe in the next one tomorrow we might look at the exploration sites, um, 
but yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed please like uh, if you want to see more uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one cheers